It's April 26, 22, the year of our Lord. It ain't easy living like a gypsy. Tell you, honey, how I feel. I've been dreaming, floating downstream and losing touch with all that's real. Keep in touch with Mama Ken. Remember when we used to drive by Mama Ken? It was a place. Remember one person? Ugh. The Aerosmith! Aerosmith rules! Aerosmith is like a dumber, higher version of Led Zeppelin. Which you had me a dumber version of Led Zeppelin. They're gonna take cocaine? Yes! Aerosmith! Somebody who tried to get me to listen to like Big Thief or something recently, and I was like, alright Big Thief. Alright this Big Thief album. You sound okay. You know what I wanna hear? Aerosmith. Fucking dirty riff rock. Just crazy in your face. Ugh, this has been one of my favorite bands. I think because I saw Mrs. Doubtfire and I like the song Dude Looks Like a Lady and purchased Permanent Vacation. Then I purchased subsequently other Aerosmith albums, including a box set that had an, individ an individual matchstick burnt by the band. It was called Box of Fire or something. Spent like $200 on it to get every Aerosmith CD. So I know every Aerosmith CD. Every Aerosmith CD is not good. They have a couple tents. I'll tell you the tents. We can talk a little bit about the other ones. The first one, not a 10. Still sounds like they're kind of finding themselves, but Mom McKen, one of the greatest songs ever written. One of the best Sarah Smith songs. Dream On. I feel like that's an entire genre of music, Dream On. 1973, power ballad. Just tasteful and beautiful and holds up. Not like the corny 80s medley parallel ballads. It's like bluesy and soulful. Um, the second record is great. Same old song and dance, Lord of the Thighs, the lyricism. Train kept a rolling. This this album just rocks. It's, it's almost like a fucking almonds record or something, just with the riffy Joe Joe Perry. Shut you lived in Newton. I used to walk by your house. Joe Perry. You're also a great guitar player. <laughs> Toys in the Attic, ten. Gay Wings was a 10, by the way. Aerosmith was not a 10. Toys in the Attic, the song Toys in the Attic makes it a 10. The other songs on it, Walk This Way, ever read that one? It's pretty good. When I whip out my big 10 inch, record of a band that plays the blues. Sweet Emotion? If Sweet Emotion's not a 10, I feel bad for you. Try it again. Sweet Emotion is and always will be a 10. Toys in the Attic rules almost as much as Rocks, which is their best record, and obviously a 10. Back in the Saddle, Last Child, Rats in the Cellar, that's one of the best just like opening three songs on a record, period. Uh, I like the Home Tonight Closer, Nobody's Fault, Sick as a Dog. Sick as a Dog is amazing. Sick as a Dog might be, no it's not as good as Last Child. Last Child is the best song on this record. This record is amazing. Draw the line. This is where they're literally calling the album Draw the Line because they're on so much cocaine that they can't think of anything to do other than the song Draw the Line is good. There's a few good, like, almost punk-sounding songs on this, which I appreciate. Certainly not a 10. I think we're done with 10s, honestly. Night in the Ruts, not a 10. Rock in a Hard Place, not a 10. This is not Aerosmith. This was released as Aerosmith. Joe Perry left the band. Done With Mirrors is a terrible album. They must have been on lots of drugs. Permanent Vacation was the first record I got. It's not that good, though. There's not any good songs on it, really. Even the singles just sound kind of corny and dated. Pump is a more respectable 90s Aerosmith. You need to, for some reason, listen to it. It's actually an 80s Aerosmith. This is 1989. Anyway, Janie's Got a Gun is a good song. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Pump, not much on Pump. Nine Lives, I saw them on this tour. I saw them twice. The second show I went to was them. The first show I went to was the Cranberries. My family's Irish. Don't throw stones, motherfucker. They were, it was a thing. In the late 90s, the Cranberries. 
Anyway, Nine Lives opener. I used to like this song a lot. Hole My Soul, I thought was corny even as a fucking 10 year old. Which, that's how old I was when this was my favorite band. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire Age. Pink. Get it? Pussy. Get a grip. Eat the Rich is fun. Living on the Edge is actually a good song. Living on the Edge kind of rules. Crying and Crazy are bad, though. Why are you casting your daughter as the sexy girl in your music video, Steven Tyler, you fucking perv? A Little South, The Sanity Just Push Play. Oh, yeah, I didn't listen to any of these. Just listen to the tens. The ten Aerosmiths. The Aerosmith tens. They've been scientifically determined. Uh, and I'm giving you... My wisdom, experience, strength, and hope. Lemons, tea, the whole bit. Hare Krishna, Hare Rama. The tens are get your wings. Toys in the attic rocks. 